The customer is not always right. Come, come back, madam. I'd be happy not to see you. Guys, here. I make excellent food. You are out. Don't speak like this. Go I out. am going I to really care. hurt somebody. May 10th, 2013. You are both <laughs> nuts. <laughs> I know. Millions of viewers were introduced to Amy's Baking Company. You well, think that you can come in here and say these things. Oh, my God. What they witnessed. Don't with me. Yeah, I will with you. Yeah. What the you think you are? Was a Kitchen Nightmares episode unlike any other. You yourself. Go. No. You are out. A restaurant and owner so deep in denial. If anyone tell me that my wife's food is no good, I just tell him to leave the restaurant. You little weenie. Keep walking. And so resistant to change. These are store-bought crap frozen ravioli. They're not crap, and they're delicious. Oh. That Chef Ramsay did something. I think you're too far gone. He has never done before. The right thing for me is to get out of here. He walked out. Wow. And as shocking as that was, what followed was equally as shocking. Hundreds of people are turning to social media to voice their anger. In the aftermath of the airing, social media went crazy. There were threats, nasty online messages. People just could not believe how this couple treated their customers. Millions were blogging, commenting. Basically calling them bad crazy. Watching and re-watching. Everyone was under the consensus that these people were not particularly normal. There were skits. Oh, God! And even cartoons. I have issues with customers that are online bullies. Made about Amy's Baking Company. It's getting a little beyond hilarious. And to go along with that, a media firestorm. Amy's Baking Company. No soup for you! <laughs> <laughs> Never before has there been a kitchen nightmares quite like this. It was like watching a train wreck. They were just that crazy. <laughs> Tonight, a special edition of Kitchen Nightmares. How are you? Kitchen Nightmares? Yes! Where you will be shocked. Are we being punked? Amazed. You can pull the wool over your husband's eyes, but you can't do it to me. I want you to just shut up. And informed. He just said, you have to go, you have to go, you have to go. As Gordon Ramsay takes you back. Send him home! And reveals unbelievable, never-before-seen footage. I'm not afraid of you. You're afraid of the truth, not me. The truth. The sad thing is, you don't know the truth. You'll see the highlights of some of the public's wild reaction. It was just the craziest thing. You'll also find out what happened to Amy's Baking Company in the last year. They're trying to cash in on their notoriety. And you will get to hear from Sammy and Amy themselves. It's like Disneyland for the crazies. In a special exclusive interview. My wife's food is excellent. That's all coming your way tonight on a special edition of Kitchen Nightmares. We have to show the world what we really have to offer here at Amy's Baking Company. <laughs> what is that? You serve me rotten food. They're not crap and they're delicious. Then wake up! You wake up! <laughs> Shut the place down. Get out of here! That is amazing. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good evening and welcome to a very special edition of Kitchen Nightmares. Last year, something happened that shocked me and millions of you when I tried to help a restaurant in Scottsdale, Arizona. I was forced to do something I'd never done, walk away. I went to Amy's Baking Company to help, but the owners were incapable of listening. There was such a strong reaction to the episode that we decided to give you an update on what has happened since. We'll also show you some footage that has never been seen before, and we'll hear from Amy and Sammy themselves. But first, a brief reminder of my wild journey at Amy's Baking Company. It was my first time in Scottsdale, Arizona, and I was really looking forward to helping the husband and wife team of Sammy and Amy with their restaurant, Amy's Baking Company. Just give me the per salad, darling, if you can. All right, all right. Since 2007, Amy had run the kitchen. I understand this whole substitution thing. And Sammy was in charge of the front of house. For C. The owners felt that their food wasn't even an issue. If anyone tell me that my wife's food is no good, I just tell them to leave the restaurant. They were looking for validation from me that everything they were doing was right. Chef Ramsay is coming to tell the people how the food is good here. In the past, they had an ongoing war with online bloggers and customers who were writing negative reviews. These reviewers and these bloggers decided to make up lies and say that they ate the food and it was disgusting. Amy and Sammy felt that they were under attack, and that was the main reason why their business was in trouble. The customer is not always right. Before I arrived, the cameras were there to document dinner service at Amy's Baking Company. Can you make me per salad instead of that Caesar? Seriously? Many of the diners were so frustrated because of the long wait 
wait times. I've never waited this long for one pizza. While the ones that did have food, this really just isn't good. Were truly disappointed with what they were getting. I'll take it. But during the course of the evening, Sammy and Amy had a really hard time dealing with any negativity from customers. Two pieces not cooked enough. Put it again in the, in the, in the oven. Sure, I'll burn it. It became clear that this restaurant... What is the problem with it? The customer isn't always right. <laughs> OK, if you came to eat to enjoy, then you should know what you like to eat, sir. And there was one particular situation that my crew has never witnessed in the seven years of doing Kitchen Nightmares. It's coming now, it's coming now, now. You keep saying that. You've been saying that for an hour. Look at him, he's like, where's my pizza? <laughs> really? Send him home! You want to wait, you wait. You don't want to pay what did you have and you off from here. Do you understand? Sammy? Go, you No, no you don't. Don't, get don't speak like this. Go out. Yes. You play in door. Are they for real? You pay. You look for you. If you touch a you can tell me if I told you. You go. You. You. No, I'm kidding. You. Not kidding. You. Take the money. No, I want the money from him. I am calling the police. You guys are. No, he's just calling the police. I know, but hey, you're not touching him. Get away. Little pansy, get out of here. Come yeah. back here. You little weenie, keep watching. You. Give me a break. My team gave me little detail, but told me that it was a rough night at the restaurant. This is ridiculous. I've never seen anything like this before. But as always, I wanted to form my own opinions. When I arrived, I was pleasantly surprised at the nice decor, how clean the kitchen was, and how well organized everything seemed to be. Is this a joke? I mean, look, dates, labels, yes, sectioned off. I even sampled a pretty good dessert. That's lovely. Little did I know, at that time, this wasn't going to be a piece of cake. If all your food is as good as this dessert, trust me, there's something not quite right here. During my lunch, things started to unravel. What? First, I was shocked to learn my waitress, Miranda, didn't make any tips. So where did the tips go? The owner. What? Yeah. I can't believe that. I know. I try to tell him. <laughs> wow. OK, great. Thank you. You're welcome. You just smell beautiful. Sammy. You spoke earlier about the problem with staff. Yeah, I just found out something pretty major. Miranda, the young girl? Yeah. You don't give her her tips? No. Sammy, yeah. you cannot take server's tips. Then bring me the people who's going to do their job, and I don't have to interfere. They can take the whole tips for them. Did you see? I already took three orders by myself and sent them already to the... You're the owner. I'm doing the most of the job. I was totally appalled. Oh. Then I waited forever for my food. I'm going to start eating my ticket. I know you've been waiting. When it finally arrived, it's just a mess. It was a major disappointment. Do you want me to take that? Please, okay. because it is like eating dry cat food. And even though I let Sammy know the major problems with the food, I feel it's raw, it's doughy. He chose not to pass anything on to Amy. What's wrong? Nothing. According to Sammy, his wife had an issue with criticism. I know my wife, she's, she's getting nervous. She's scared of telling her the truth. Do you want to tell her? Come with me, you tell her. I just want her to know, so she checks okay, the issue. She will know, yes, yeah, she will know. Uh, Anyway, I am 75 minutes in, and so far, I've had an undercooked pizza. Oh, OK, I'm going to tell her you're starving. I'm oh. going to tell her you are starving. OK, she'll move, OK? She'll move. She, I hope oh. so. But hours later, at the start of dinner service, Amy was complaining that she had not received any feedback from what I experienced at lunch. So I decided to tell her the brutal truth. These are store-bought crap, frozen ravioli. They're not crap, and they're delicious. And I, the oh, first time I've ever cooked oh okay. Did you taste it? You didn't taste that one. Again, because you didn't get the feedback. I said they were disgusting. But right from the start, she didn't consider anything I was saying as constructive. I've never had a problem oh with it. Oh, my God. I tried again and again to point out the issues. The bun for the beef burger was soggy as anything. I have never had a problem with that hamburger, ever. But everything was either deflected... That was dry. It's good like that. ...or ignored. There's no point in me saying anything to you because you just don't wear it's good like that. Whatever. I felt so frustrated. At this point, I went into the dining room and hit another wall. When I tried to confront Sammy, 
about the tips. Do you think the girls deserve some tips tonight? No, they get hourly. Sir, the tip that you left, the young lady server, the owner takes the tips. That's horrible. No, 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 no. Okay. Don't with me. Yeah, I will with you. Yeah. Who the you think you are? Okay. That night, once again, there were a number of issues with the food, and there were long wait times as well. Are we used to waiting on something? Yeah. yeah. When is it that you're waiting on? Pasta. The yeah. spicy pasta. The pasta resica? Yeah. Is that coming? Then, towards the end of service, a food runner named Katie asked Amy a question. 4B. No, no, 5B. Are you sure? And Amy lost it. You don't need to question me, Katie. You can go home right now. Katie! Listen to me when I'm speaking to you. Do not walk away from me. You don't work here anymore, OK? Don't start crying. Don't why, cry. why are you no, behaving please, like this? No, no, oh, no, no, my no, God. Please, come on, come on. Since no, I'm talking about you, I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't doing anything. You had an attitude to me all night long, Katie. Don't worry, don't worry, please. Okay, I quit. No, you're not. I quit. You're not. She you're is quitting. She has an attitude. After a really bizarre dinner service, I tried again to have a meaningful conversation with Amy. It's become evident that you can't take criticism. But Amy remained in denial. What I do normally is good. Refusing to listen to anything I had to say. Then your freezer is store-bought raviolis. The sauce is delicious. The raviolis, we think that they're very good. Even after a frustrating day, I remained committed to helping the restaurant. So the next morning, I came in with a plan to turn Amy's baking company around. Oh, come on. But they weren't there. So I spent the morning talking with disgruntled past employees. In the year and a half I was there, I saw at least 50 people come and go. It's... 50? They were in and out so yeah. fast. Wow. What happens when customers complain about their food? They get told that they're wrong, that, you know, no, we have the best food in the country. You're wrong. When Amy and Sammy finally arrived... You don't look very happy. Yeah. Um, exhausted. I wanted to confront them with the information I had learned. Have you not had a turnover of more than 50 people? 50 staff. Can you prove that to me? She, is... she was wrong. 100 or even more than 100. And after a very tense conversation in which we were going around in circles... What I have a problem with were the comments you were saying to me last night. I'm here to show you what's right, and you can't take that. I realized that Sammy and Amy were not open even in the slightest, to making any changes. All that's happened is we have been attacked. Attacked? Attacked! I mean, I don't know what you this call it. This is a restaurant that is in the crisis with a delusional owner that can't take criticism. So, for the very first time, I did something I never thought I would do. I can't help people. I can't help themselves. And the right thing for me is to get out of here. Good luck. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Participate in this. Wow. Coming up. The story just went viral. They became the number one trending story in America. There were threats, nasty online messages. Find out how it happened. Everyone was under the consensus that these people were not particularly normal. And we'll show you some never before seen footage of Amy and Sammy with Chef Ramsay that you have to see to believe. You can pull the wool over your husband's eyes. You can't do it to me. I want you to just shut up. Then. How are you? It's your nightmare. Yes. A full update on what has happened to Amy's baking company. Sammy saw that I had taken a $5 tip and told me that I'm a thief and get out of his restaurant. And later, it's wild. Are we being punked? It's loud. He has no boat. These girls are my boat. It's an exclusive interview with Amy and Sammy. It's like Disneyland for the crazies. As we track them down in Scottsdale, Arizona. We have to show the world what we really have to offer here at Amy's big company. <laughs> Since the airing of Amy's Baking Company, people were very anxious to express their views in a variety of ways on the internet. One of the things that got a lot of attention was this cartoon made by the Jackson Moto Company. He is my soulmate, and we're in this business together. Fine. And we stand strong. We have to because there's a lot of online bullies and haters and bloggers. They're dirty. They're lazy. I have issues with customers that are online bullies. And they bully me, bully my husband. That's a joke. Online bullies. They're used to eating processed wood chips or used to getting things for free. It's disgusting. But when did this start? This guy came in that started this entire online bullying. I told him I thought he was a loser. He was a moron. Do you have children? 
Well, we have three little boys, but they're trapped inside wow. cat bodies. You look disappointed. These are store bought crap frozen ravioli. They're not crap, and they're delicious. And I, the oh. first time I've ever. Oh okay. my God. Did you taste it? You didn't taste that one. This is. You guys, I make excellent food. F you all think that you can come in here and say these things? Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. I speak feline. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. meow. That cartoon was just one example of the media explosion that occurred after the airing of Amy's Baking Company. But there was a lot more as this 50-seater restaurant went from obscurity to a national phenomenon and became the number one trending story on the internet. So there's this restaurant called Amy's Baking Company. The owners are nuts. This was the first time in the history of the show he decided this place was beyond hell. Gordon Ramsay even is like, I'm out of here. I just could not believe how this couple treated their they customers. They just kept going and going with the same stuff over right. and over. Hundreds of people are turning to social media to voice their Sammy anger. Sammy and Amy, they're on That's Facebook crazy. now, just trashing everybody. It got uglier and uglier for there. There were threats, nasty online These messages. Are freaking crazy. This is what you don't yeah. ever do. I'm actually not. A lot of action on social media. Yeah. Memes and jokes oh and photoshops. Gifts. Worldwide backlash. Unbelievable to see all of it bubble up online. Wow. It was so crazy. The episode of Kitchen Nightmares about Amy's Baking Company was a pretty special one because it was the first time Gordon Ramsay walked away from a restaurant. Wow. Which is something he never does. And it definitely sparked a curiosity. People were incredibly interested in this story. There were thousands of comments directed at Amy and Sammy, basically calling them bad crazy. Everyone was under the consensus that these people were not particularly normal. The problem was Amy and Sammy started responding to these comments. As the comments started pouring in, Amy and Sammy just kept posting and posting and posting. They just attacked everybody and just posted status after status, just swearing, calling people out on everything, and just continuing their cyberbullying, what they do best, I guess. <laughs> we just sort of kept watching them in a mixture of shock and horror. You just want to tell these people, no, don't, don't do that. That's a bad idea. And the story just went viral. People were sharing all different types of content from satirical cartoons. Think that you can come in here and say these things. To YouTube videos. Meow, 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 meow. Clips, GIFs. Just type in Amy's and everything would come up related to Amy's Baking Company. Just pages and pages. My write-up of Amy's Baking Company's Meltdown. In about three days, it had reached three million views, which is the highest traffic post I've ever done at BuzzFeed. It became the 21st century version of a water cooler conversation. Everyone thought it was just the craziest thing. It was like covering a breaking news story, except instead of politics, we were following this little eatery in Arizona. Honestly, I've never seen something like this before. They were just that crazy. After the dust cleared, Amy and Sammy took to their Facebook and said that it was hacked and that all of the statements that came previously weren't them. And it was met with this really hilarious, are you kidding me, collectively from the internet? No, clearly you weren't hacked at all. I saw the way that they treated people and what they said on Facebook is exactly how they acted in real life. There is the phrase, no publicity is bad publicity. But at the same time, if you're not careful, the internet can turn you into a sideshow. And I think that's exactly what happened here. The aftermath of the episode certainly took on a life of its own. I remember when I first walked in to Amy's Baking Company thinking, hmm, why am I here? The dining room is gorgeous. The kitchen is spotless, something I'm definitely not used to on Kitchen Nightmares. But when Amy gave me a tour of her kitchen, things started getting a little strange. Now, this footage has never been seen before. Take a look. So are you the sous chef? Yeah, yes. you can see. I'll take you through our line. Um, do we have any uh, male chefs? Do, do, no. No, all no. females. Yes. No, only girls. Why, yeah. why is that? Yes. Because it's too it's tiny. tiny. And my wife, she wants only me to be near her. She doesn't <laughs> want men, you know. I don't like to bump into it's... men. I feel we're comfortable working with girls because my kitchen is so tiny. Wow. So we bend over, we bump but into I mean... each other. The male chefs, their ego is too big and there's, it's too little in my kitchen, so they leave. I show them the door. And they don't have my standards. They can't right. clean like I do there. It's like they're doing me a favor. This is how we work. I mean, yeah. I work meticulously because my customers okay. deserve it. Wow. Coming up. Oh God, you're crazy. 
Wow, some shocking bonus material that has never been seen until tonight. If they could work like my husband works, they would get their tips. He stole them. Can you make a change? Make a change. And later, an update on what has happened at Amy's Baking Company since Chef Ramsay walked out. Now it's like a tourist site. Everybody wants to see if Amy was actually that crazy. Plus, our revealing exclusive interview with Sammy and Amy. It's like Disneyland for the crazies. We have three little boys, but they're trapped inside kitty cat's bodies. Meow! <laughs> Zeta does it like this. Meow! And sometimes he sticks his tongue out if he wants treats. No! <laughs> Jade, if you, if you ask him a question, you say, Jade, he'll actually respond. Meow! He responds like that. And Leo, he actually talks. Leo will sing to you. Meow, meow, meow. Later, we'll be heading out to Arizona, where our reporter, Ana Garcia, catches up with Sammy and Amy. But first, let me tell you about some more never-before-seen footage. During my lunch at Amy's Baking Company, I kept telling Sammy what was wrong with the food, but he refused to tell Amy. I remember thinking, how strange was that, that he wouldn't relate anything to his wife? But when I came back for dinner service, I learned why Sammy never shares any negative comments with Amy, because she's completely incapable of taking criticism. When was the last time you took criticism from a customer about one of your dishes? Um, the other day I did. What I was it? A, it was a Caesar salad. The lady didn't like the prosciutto in her Caesar salad, but it's on the menu, and if they don't like it, they can have it without it. Simple. I mean, wow. I, I've oh taken criticism. God. Do you know what? Criticism is healthy. Unfortunately, not enough people told you the truth. Oh, God, you're crazy. No, there you go. I Phenomenal I was dessert, crazy. store bought frozen ravioli, yet you still don't get it. If I could make everything from scratch, I would. And you can pull the wool over your husband's eyes, but you can't do it to me. Oh my God, you're not even crazy. prepared to listen to anything. That's because you're not giving me any advice, constructive criticism. Advice, you're just I'm standing here for, here talking, you're just saying things that aren't even making sense. I'm not in denial about anything. I've never had an issue before. Because your husband doesn't tell you. No, because I know. He's scared to. He's not scared of me. No, that man isn't scared of you. He's not scared of anybody. My husband, if there ever is a problem, immediately he'll bring it back and let Christine and. <laughs> and it's very rare that Did it happens. today. You knew I was coming today. Well, I was trying. If you're coming to my restaurant today, I'd make sure every <laughs> play that you finish is in front of me. I was trying to get feedback and no one would give it to me. Why not? Except I gave your husband you a number of comments. Yeah. Lunch time. But I didn't know. Nobody you would change. Don't them like with me. knowing. You don't want I to change. Know. There is something I want to clear up. They asked me to come and help them. Right now, I want to show you something that has only ever been seen by myself and the producers of the show. It's their submission video. Oh, boy. Check it out. So this is where all the magic happens. <laughs> and here we have the walk -in. Oh, my god, it's a mess. The biggest problems with this restaurant would be my husband is too nervous in the front of the house. Doesn't really have a customer service background in any way, shape, or form. I'm chicken like no head. You go, I go, I don't know where to start. Sammy needs to be removed from this situation. A lot of times, I think the customers will probably not come back because of something that Sammy may have said to them. Like, first reaction is just to kind of yell. Yes, there have been a few occasional times that he has had an incident, and that I myself have had an inf a few incidents with customers. We're not perfect, but when people come in and they're not nice to us, we're not going to be nice back to them. <laughs> On Yelp, horrible things were written about us that were not true. I retaliated, and I told him what I thought about him. I told him that he was a loser, and he was a moron. He was a tramp, and he wasn't welcome in my restaurant, and he's not. I have no problem standing up for myself. Are you, can you film him? Do you see him? Can, they, we can... We had to stop because you were talking. That's OK. This is the first kitchen I've ever worked in where we're not really allowed to talk to each other. Stop talking, everyone. Stop. Get out. No talking. I'm out here all by myself screaming, screaming. The smallest thing can happen. It's like the end of the world. And then they just kind of feed off of each other. In order for my restaurant to be open, we both have to be here, 100%. This is our baby. Hold on a second. Hold on. I'm getting extremely nervous right now because I have so many things going on back here and I can't remember the questions you're asking because as soon as you ask me, I'm losing it. If you don't come in and spend $100 at least, it's like, mm -hmm. I don't need you. Spectacular! My food is the best, I'm telling you. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> He's crazy.
crazy. He's my big guy. <laughs> Coming up. I don't want you to kiss my ass. I want you to just shut up. The madness continues. I'm not afraid of you. Please. You're afraid of the truth, not me. The truth. You'll get a full update on what has happened to Amy's baking company. They're trying to cash in on their notoriety. You'll hear from former employees. Amy and Sammy thought everyone was out to get them. And what recent diners have to say. He just said, you have to go, you have to go, you have to go. Then it's time for an out of control sit down with Sammy and Amy. He has no balls. He's jealous of my balls. This is what he is. But first, some never before seen footage as Chef Ramsay questions Amy about her pizza. And what's the base of the uh, dough? The recipe for my pizza dough? Mm -hmm. It's a secret. Oh, okay, wow. And people love it. I have people tell me it's the best pizza that they've ever had wow. in their life. My husband will tell me, or customers. Well, he's, he, he, he's naughty because my pizza today was undercooked. So it was raw. And I said, Will you take that back? He said, I can't talk to in service. Why is that? Uh, maybe he knew that it would make me nervous if you didn't enjoy well, the pizza. You're a husband and wife. Yeah. Yeah, it's not as if you're sort of manager and assistant manager. Okay. The quicker you go back to the kitchen with criticism... Yeah. We usually just, don't have criticism, and that's the problem. You don't have criticism. Not usually, Why no. can't you go and tell your wife? Because Sweetheart, I, I know my pizza, wife. Pizza, wake up, is undercooked. I don't think your pizza was undercooked. I checked it, and I sent pizzas. That's my number one selling pizza. So you did bring people. it back? No, I didn't ah. find out, and I asked you what was I wrong. You just said you checked it. No, I checked it when I took it out of the hold on, if you oh. let me. I checked it when I took it out of the oven just like I do every other pizza. And to me it was crispy on the bottom. When I cut it, right. it was crunchy. Okay. So to me it wasn't okay. wrong. So, but yeah, let's draw a line in that. Back. That's your version because you sure. didn't see it come back. My version right. was the dough was wet, uh -huh. undercooked in the center. Okay. Okay. And around the outside, there was insufficient garnish, so it was just dry. I showed it to you. Yeah, yeah, you did. You and did the idea. Course. Come on. I did. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But I didn't want to yeah. tell her. No, it's okay. No, no. no. I, I said, touch that. No, I did touch Slightly, 30 yeah. seconds. It was soaking wet. Okay. It was wet. Wet? Now, well, the raw, cheese or something? No, 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 no not the cheese. No. How can you attract good staff when you don't give them the tips they deserve? My husband pays those girls $9 or $10 an hour You're not to listening. do nothing, You're not listening. okay? They don't deserve those tips. If they could work like my oh husband my worked, God. if they could work like my husband works and it didn't require them to run like four me? people, they would get their tips. He's told them. You're run like I run and work like How I work deluded. and you can have your tips. I am deluded. You're right. Oh my there are so many moments at this restaurant, but truthfully, there's only so much you can put into a one-hour show. Here's an unbelievable exchange that I had with Amy over a package of gnocchi. It's in these gnocchi in here. No refrigeration required. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. There must be a few chemicals in there. Do we sell these, Nurse? I'm sorry? Do we sell these? Yes, those are the gnocchi that we sell. And no refrigeration required. What's in them? Look at the back, it'll tell you. I don't say that they're organic. I never did. What's in there? He said, look on the back, like some <laughs> smart ass answer. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's prepared to charge customers money for that. Oh. And you get upset because they're not kissing I'm your not ass. I'm not upset with you. I wow. don't want you to kiss my yeah. ass. I want you to just shut up and yeah. give me wow. a chance to finish my sentence instead of wow, being rude. Wow, wow, wow. That's, I'm I've not pissed off because you don't bother me to make me pissed off. I've seen it all. Well, we're making everything for order. This is, you know, it's. Not pre-made. We don't have pre-made food. We're trying to make Except everything. Except the raviolis. Order. Yes, the raviolis are pre-made. And the we, frozen eggplant. Yes, they are. It's fresh, of course. We have to freeze it when we drop it in the fryer so the breading doesn't come off. We do it like and that the because I do use those gnocchi. Yes. No kidney reply. Yes, I care a lot. Chef MZ, I would like you to understand just something. Yeah, I'm finding it right now. I want It'd be difficult to understand you one little bit. I've got nowhere to go. Every time I say something to you, you just no. say, hey, my customers love it. I'm not going to talk to you right now because I have to concentrate well, then, on the then line. Stop, concentrate then. I will. You're the one who just said you want to talk to me. I so did. I wanted to explain to you oh. that I'm not here to see you. You don't even let me speak, so there's no point in talking to you. Try. Just like my husband. Even though my visit to Amy's Baking Company was a complete disaster from day one, I came back on day two with a plan to turn it around. Unfortunately, I never got to implement it because it became clear that it would be a waste of time. I'm sure you're wondering what's happened to the restaurant since I left. Here, with an update, is our reporter, Anna Garcia.
Thanks, Gordon. I'm here in Scottsdale, Arizona, talking to local people to get their perspective on everything that's happened since the show aired. Everything from the social media phenomenon to how it has affected local businesses. And I'm going to try and talk to Amy and Sammy. But first, here's an update on how the restaurant is doing. Good luck. Thank you. After Chef Ramsay left, it was just a dramatic mess. Amy, no! I'm not, I'm not Amy and Sammy thought everyone was out to get them. Attitude I've never seen in my life. They fired everyone, told everyone to can do everything on their own. The next day I was called and Amy and Sammy begged for me to come back, so I did. Thank you. You're welcome. Sammy and Amy saw that I had taken a $5 tip from my customer and had a huge fit over it and told me that I'm a thief and get out of his restaurant. And I threw the money at them and I walked out and told them, don't ever talk to me again. I'm done with this place. A lot of my friends have actually gone there just to check it out because now it's like a tourist site. Everybody wants to see if Amy was actually that crazy. We honestly went in with Let's see if the food is really as people say. One of our friends ordered a drink. Got it, noticed that there was something floating in the drink. It had three fruit flies in it. We called Sammy over and he got really upset and he said, there are no flies. He never even acknowledged that there was anything wrong. I said to him, we didn't bring flies in our pockets with us. And he just said, you have to go, you have to go, you have to go. We thought they would kind of wanting to be, you know, pleasing everybody and wanting to have the customers and, you know, but they were exactly like we thought they were. They're trying to cash in on their notoriety. If you go to their website, they're selling t-shirts that are printed with lines from the show. It's not a classy move, but becoming a tourist attraction where they basically make fun of themselves, I think is the only way for them to survive. It's definitely turned into a spectacle that if you're in the area, you just have to see what it's all about. Coming up. It's like Disneyland for the crazies. It's loud. He can't keep his menu. It's intense. We don't go down without a fight. It's surprising. Are we being punked? It's our exclusive interview with Sammy and Amy. I see all the crazy. You will hear it all. My wife's food is excellent. Raw and uncensored. He was a pale-faced, pansy-ass willow. When our reporter, Anna Garcia... Have you changed your policy on the temps? ...pays a visit to Amy's Baking Company. I'm not going to stop. How then I will be a pansy, and I'm not a pansy. She doesn't like to take the criticize, she likes to take the compliments. She can't take criticism. She cannot take criticism. Have you noticed, when she talks, she can't stop because she won't listen. So she'll continue pounding her own voice rather than actually listen to criticism. But when it's a compliment, yeah. oh my god, it's amazing, my dessert's amazing. No. But then when it's criticism, yeah, so what I'm asking, why is uh, that? Yeah. Ask her that question. Ask her? I have the same problem for that. She cannot listen to criticism, but she okay, does good. She's good. going to listen Thank you. to me. She's good. going to. Yes. But she's not listening. Yeah. Just blank there. Do you know she's why? She's not listening. Yeah, no, I know, I know. Right. I have right. that problem Thank for you. 10 okay. years. OK? Can you make a change? Make a change. So far, we've shown you some incredible unseen footage and brought you up to date on what's happened since this episode aired. But now, it's time to hear from the owners themselves. Here is our reporter, Anna Garcia, with Amy and Sammy. Hi, Sammy. Hi, Anna Garcia from Kitchen Nightmares. How are you? Kitchen Nightmares? Yes. Oh, good. Yes. Can, we, can, can we come in and talk? Yes, you can come Thank in. you yes. so much. Thank it's you. I appreciate it. Yeah. May I introduce myself? Hi, Anna Garcia from Kitchen Nightmares. Very nice to meet Hi. you. We want to catch up with you and Sammy. Do you have a few minutes for us? Uh, I know you come out to talk to me. I'd love to talk with you. No, you talk to me and I want money because this time from Kitchen Nightmares, I want money. You want? You guys did make so much money because of us and Gordon Ramsay tried to bury me alive who he wants. I will bury him first. I will bury him first and bury your Kitchen Nightmare also because you did it on purpose. You set me up. And this is what you did, to try to bury us alive, alive. And you didn't do yet, and I wouldn't let nobody to do it. Well, will you sit down and talk with us, Sammy, yes, about please. what happened and everything down. that's happened? No. Like Gordon Ramsay himself, because he was not fair. He was not fair. How was he not fair, he Sammy? He was not fair, because he shouldn't... It's OK, then, again. Because he shouldn't represent us that way. I'm going to go against Fox, against Gordon Ramsay, Kitchen Nightmare. Let me show you something. It's disgusting. So I posted, I took a screen, Sammy. Who is he? He has no balls. He's jealous of my balls. This is what he is. 
We were made to look like the most psychotic, lunatic people in the universe. And after watching Kitchen Nightmares, I see all the crazy, but I don't see any of the good. I know the people that came here were Yelpers because I have proof of it. They were on Yelp talking about it after they were filming and before they were coming here. This is not stuff that I've invented. I'm not delusional. I'm not crazy. Yes, we are passionate. Yes, we are wild. If I came after you, you would probably stand up too. If I came after anybody else, you would defend yourself, wouldn't you? If you have a family, wouldn't you defend it? Has it been stressful? Stressful, yes, it's been very stressful. We've had people walk through my doors, come casually over here like this, walk over, look at the display case, keep going like this, and then leave. And then my waitress comes up to me. Now we have waitresses because we had to change our whole procedure because the whole universe thought my husband was stealing the tips. So we tried something new. I took all of the negative things that Gordon Ramsay said and I tried to improve on it. That's why I had him come here. People come here to try to set us up because they think it's funny because they have a for Gordon Ramsay. There was one person, he left on this plate and I have it in my office and I have the surveillance camera proof of it. He puts a giant rubber cockroach on the plate and left it there, left without buying a cake and thought that that was funny. We are dealing with that daily. It's not gonna work here. We stood up to Gordon Ramsay, we're gonna stand up to the world because we don't go down without a fight. We have to show the world and every single business owner out there that you have to stand up. You cannot let anyone shake you down. We have a voice, he has a voice, and it's up to us to stay strong and to show our true product and what we really have to offer here at Amy's Big Company. That's it. Coming up. I'm not going to stop. Just when you thought it couldn't get more intense. That to me shows me that he's a pansy. There are more shocking moments from Amy and Sammy. Now you have lit the fire inside of us. If this business were to be successful, in my opinion, you need to clone me three times. Clone Sammy three times, clone me three times, and I'll be perfect. All the Amy clones would just start like killing off each other. They'd just get so sick of each other. Like one thing another Amy said, like, you can't mix two Amy's. This doesn't go together. In a moment, I'll share with you my final thoughts on Amy's Baking Company. But first, let's head back to Scottsdale and a reporter, Anna Garcia, who's with Sammy and Amy. How was your business affected by what happened in the episode? We are completely bombarded by the media, by customers, by haters, by trolls. We've become the number one tourist attraction for, for the summer, only it's like Disneyland for the crazies. They stand outside and take pictures just because they want to see us. When they come in, they look at us like they are real and they almost pass out. And then they sit down and they try our food mm -hmm. and they see who we are as people and they say, I can't believe it. It's amazing, your food's incredible. How did this ever happen? What's going on here? Are we being punked? But have you been busy? Because we really didn't find anyone who ever said this place was packed. Well, I'm open for business right now. Look at how, how can I have any normal business when I have this all day long? What happened with Facebook, with the allegations that you had been hacked? Every single post that was written calling people and making fun of them for not making money did not come from us. We didn't say those things. Now we are, because now you have lit the fire inside of us. Now when we're calling people little trolls and telling them that they have no balls, yes, that's us. Because okay. I think it takes a very special kind of person, it's called a eunuch, to be able to call someone and bully them over the phone or through the internet when you don't know who they are. Nobody make money because those trolls. Because so, Gordon Ramsay told them I'm stealing tips to the people. Can we talk about true. that? Can we talk about yeah. the tips? I was pretty surprised yeah. that the waitresses didn't keep their tips. Yeah. Why, Sammy? Because I give them hourly very high. I don't How give them high? between $8 to $14 an hour. If it's empty like this, they still go with money. If they wait for the tip, they wait like this. Have you changed your policy on the I tips? I did change. I give them tips. So is that something good that came out of the kitchen nightmares? Is that you now? No, it's not good. Because they work with the tip and there is nobody here, then of course they're not going to make money, then they're on the way. All of this that's happened, and, you know, have you made any changes to the menu? He can keep his menus. Right. His menu, he can keep it for his own restaurant. What happened to the raviolis? Also... Are the raviolis still frozen? Yes, still frozen, yes, still frozen. Yes, still frozen. Yeah, and they're excellent. Also, wait, yes, listen, and they're excellent. Gordon Ramsay also, during the filming, I asked him, I said, would you let anybody come into your kitchen and give you the kind of attitude that Katie gave, gave me and not fire them? He said, yeah. That to me shows me that he's a pansy. If so, I, I stand oh, up to somebody in my kitchen. Oh, you got criticized for using okay. that word, Amy. The reason I said he was a pansy is because the same reason I call these Yelpers and these people that hide behind the computer screen the <laughs> mafia. They are 
They are pansies, they have no balls, because if they had balls, they would come to my face, my husband's face, and tell us exactly all the stuff that, the lies, the slanderous stuff that they say online, instead of just hiding behind their computer screen. I have said a lot of offensive things, but when a person is completely under attack, I'm sorry, I would love to be nothing but a lady and control my language and not have a severe case of Tourette's syndrome, but this is what's happened to me because of the pressure. I called that guy a pansy because he was a pale-faced, pansy-ass willow. That's exactly what I call him. Yes, I'm going to say things if someone attacks me. I'm not going to stop. How, then I will be a pansy, and I'm not a pansy. There was a, a part in the episode where it showed that Sammy tries to shield you from criticism, and when Gordon sent back some food, Sammy, you didn't really want to tell Amy. Because it's tell not true. Why. Because my wife's food is excellent. Everybody loves my wife's food. The reason that he didn't tell me each plate was getting sent back is because he knew that it would, Gordon Ramsay was full of <laughs> Sammy tells everything to me as I tell everything to Sammy. We share, we don't keep secrets from each other. He protects me, I protect him. People love us because we stand together and we are united. Yes, he and I will fight to the death for each other. No doubt, you come and you try to attack us, I'm going to be like a fierce lion. I'm gonna attack anybody that's coming to try to hurt my husband or my business. It has affected your business. Are you yes. seeing the customers come back? No, did, did something, different, different is there... people, you know, different people, they, they come, they, they are very happy, surprised. Surprised what Gordon Ramsay say. I have enough money to keep my business as long till the stupid people become smart. And then they come again to us. And they will. We are not the ones Gordon Ramsay represent us. Yeah. We are not at all. We are not a villain or gangster or what. I am reformed and I, I, I give up long but ago. But you did he's say, a, he's you, did say yes. uh, you did say to yeah, Gordon, them. I'm a gangster. Well, I, mean, I you will did say, say it that. again. I will say it again if somebody, because I am the one who can go on top of him. He cannot go on top of me. I can promise you. Not him and not all his people. I can promise but you. But you did say that, Sam. I did say it. And I will say it again if I have to. Okay. I will say it. Myself, I would like people to understand that first and foremost, my husband and I, we are united and that's the most wonderful thing in my life. We are not psychotic, lunatic people that will make you wait an hour and a half for your food and then call the police on you if you don't get it. We're not gonna scream at you and throw you out unless you come to attack us. If you do come and attack us, we will scream at you and we will throw you out. I think like 95% of the things that are being said about us, we sit and we laugh our butts off about it because it's hysterical. Do you have a message for Gordon Ramsay? Mr. Ramsay, for all the respect that I had for you, I ask you now to really put the truth and really give us a chance. Really give us a chance. Who is it to give you a chance? Because he tried to destroy us. Well, he, he has control of these cameras. He give us chance. He has everybody. control over Come these on, cameras. They edited us. Well, I need him to give me a chance. Well, obviously, the whole world thinks yeah. that we're psychotic he killed you already. the way that they he edited us. He killed you already. Do you think he's going to come and say, no, the food is good, I was joking? Yeah, I think yeah. he should do that if he's No, he won't do that, person. Amy. You're asking too much. He can't. Well, he's like, he's like he's going to say job. that and he's going to close his store. That's it. He's finished. I'm he's finished. He, he won't do That's that. It. He will never say the truth. Of course, he will keep it okay. the truth for himself. Saving restaurants and helping families on Kitchen Nightmares is an incredibly gratifying experience. I look forward to every challenge and I take each mission very seriously. What happened in Scottsdale was actually quite disappointing. My team and I had a fantastic plan to help Amy's Baking Company. Unfortunately, the owners had no interest in hearing it. Good night.